What's up? This is David Lamar, and this is how you get a crispy lineup before you leave the house every single time. So, hopefully my camera doesn't fall because it is playing the world's greatest balancing act right now. It's sitting on top of an oil sheen bottle, which is holding up a modem box, which is holding up a Kleenex box, which is holding up a bottle of Z-Quil, which is leaning against my iPhone 10 that does not have insurance on it. So, if we drop it, man. Anyway, I'm gonna show you today how to use topics or how I use it and how it fixes this catastrophe that we've got going on on top of my head. And it's a very easy, it's a very simple process by just using tape. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna put the tape exactly where I want my line to go. You gotta kind of put the tape layered on top of each other so when you peel one end, it all just kind of comes off in one big piece and doesn't leave any residue. With a nice clean edge. I'm kind of getting off camera because I'm scared to like move my camera. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I don't want it to fall. But okay, I need to be able to see what I'm doing. Now we're just gonna take this topics. Now if you have a blower, like it comes with a little blower on top, I will definitely recommend using that, but I don't have a blower, so I'm just gonna take my topics and I am going to just kind of pat my finger. Kind of like get it as even as I can to fall over my hairline. And I will show you why I'm doing it this way instead of just smashing it on there. Let me get low so you can see what I'm doing here. You may not be able to see this process, but. Kind of shake it on there a little bit. Now I do sometimes, I don't want it to get too thick, so then I'll come in and I'll just literally directly dab it onto my hairline. But when you get to the edges, you kind of want to just let it just gently fall over the edges. The middle, you can kind of, I've done it both ways and I guess this kind of does work, so. All right, so I think we're good to go now. Um, so, as you can see, I have a lot, I put a lot in there because I like to put a little bit more. And then what I'm gonna do is just to make sure that it's even, is just very lightly brush away the excess, the excess, whatever the word is. I'm just gonna slowly just brush it away until it blends in with my real hair. It's always better to put more on because you can kind of take it off without but if you put well I guess if you put less on you can always put more on but I think it leaves it a little bit uneven your hair is uneven you look dusty all right so that's perfectly blended but now I'm going to come back because I kind of wiped off well maybe I didn't but I feel like I wiped off a little bit too much on the top right here. So I'm gonna just dust a little bit over. And then on the side, 
I'm gonna just dust a little bit off on the side. A little bit on this side. Right, and then we're just gonna come around one more time. Lightly, you gotta be very light at this step. It's very important. So now you, can, you can't really tell now because it's kind of blended in perfectly. So, a little bit more on the side because I need to, that lineup is about to be crisp on the side, but it has to be perfect. I can't be out here in these streets looking crazy. All right, so now I am going to come in here and remove the tape off of my forehead. And if all goes well, I should have a crispy lineup. Okay, you can kind of see where I put the tape on there. But never fear, never fear, because this is all new hairline here. So this is the next step. It's very important. And I'm not gonna be looking into the camera when I do this because I gotta make sure I don't cut my real hair. But I'm just gonna come back through with my liners. Kind of even it up a little bit. Now mind you, I'm not cutting my real hair. This is just the fibers that I just stuck on here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Because again, all of this line right here is fibers. Same with this side over here. All right, so now the last step. Well, second to last step. I highly recommend a Q-tip for precision because now you kind of want to come back in there again and you want to just wipe away oops, the extra. And with the Q-tip, it's the easiest way to do it because you can really get in there and get close to that line. And then you can always go this part right here and kind of just come over a little bit. All right, I kind of just screwed this side up a little bit. So we're just gonna leave it alone at this point. But that's it. I have given myself a whole new hairline. Now. One thing I gotta do because I need to get rid of some of this excess on my face. Just wanna take the corner of my towel. And get some of that dust off. It lets, it wipes right off easily. And the good thing about it is you literally cannot tell that is not hair, because I mean it is, it's hair fibers. Topic. The last step is to, I have the, the um, Topic Fiber Hose Spray. Now, if you wanna put like a do-rag on or something, I highly recommend using, don't use this one, because it leaves a white residue but your just regular mist um, hairspray, the holding spray, regular mist holding spray, because that one you can kind of put a do-rag on and it doesn't mess it up. This one is kind of more specific to these and it keeps the fibers in place, but if you put a hat on, it kind of does mess it up. But if it rains or if you're just sweating, it doesn't, this holds it in place. So topics, and then you just kind of want to spray that on there when you're done.
<laughs> it leaves no residue, no white residue or anything like that. So we're just gonna let that sink in. Now I wanna get it off my face. So let me just, uh... anyway, that's pretty much the end of the video. And then as soon as this um, holding spray dries, I am going to just throw some oil sheen over everything and I'm gonna go about my day looking crispy, looking a little bit crispy. But I'm telling you all that tape works the tape works and there it is <laughs> all right thanks for watching again I'm David Lamar singer songwriter out of Cleveland Ohio and take a moment and check out my song I Found Love, which is available now on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, Rhapsody, anywhere music is digitally, I promise you will love me. I was searching, searching for someone to love me, someone to set me free, but I was blinded, blinded by my own assumptions of what was meant to be. I was foolish, foolish cause I kept on thinking something must be wrong with me, but I was in a prison. Locked up on my own emotions, searching couldn't find the key I was hurting, hurting cause I didn't love me Hurting cause I couldn't see Until I realized that she was standing right beside me She nearly knocked me off of my feet uh.